Hi everybody, this is Sarah here and in this video we are going to take a look at how to do a roundhouse kick and how to develop some mobility and flexibility to do this kick. Usually the front kick is, for example, it's much easier to do for many people, but the roundhouse kick, because it, it requires certain rotation from your hips, strength, more strength from your obliques, it's usually much harder for people to do. So we're not going to uh, take a look at some mobility drills to, to, de to develop a good roundhouse, roundhouse kick and then we're going to do a little workout uh, by combining the kick and the mobility drills. So let's go. Firstly we're going to start by doing these active tension drills for your hip muscles. So basically we're going to do different sort of leg raises to the side, uh, front, side, different rotations, back, and this will restore that hip musculature that you need in order to do a kick. So first we're going to start by just raising the leg forward. For this drill, you can take support from the wall. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep this leg straight. And then you're going to raise it as high as you can. So it doesn't have to be 90 degrees, it can be much lower. But what you can do here is hold it there or do a sort of pulse. Just go into the place where it feels hardest and work that area. And next we're going to do an abduction with this leg. And the range of motion isn't very big here. So don't try to raise the leg somewhere very high because that means you rotate the leg. So now we're just going to take the leg as far as it goes without twisting from the obliques. Raise to the side, hold it there, do little pulses. Next, we're going to do the extension. So we're going to raise our leg back, straight back. You're going to lean a bit forward uh, to kind of have more, gain more range of motion. But once again, the movement itself is quite small, actually. And if you would like to raise the leg higher, it requires that rotation. But for now, just raise it like this. So next we are going to take a look at the hip rotation. So, when you do a good side kick, what it usually involves is if this is the supporting leg, this is the kicking leg, and I, I do the kick, this leg rotates outward. So it goes from here so that the toe, toes uh, point outside. So, in order to do a good kick, you need to have this mobility and flexibility so that you can rotate the leg while you lean, lean back. And this kicking leg, when it comes from here, what it needs to do is need to rotate in and then the kick comes from the side. So we're not going to practice it, this internal rotation and the external rotation of the leg. So first, once again, you can hold support if you need to. We're going to take this leg sort of opening up to the side. So now the toys point, uh, point up and you can hold it there. You can do these little, little pulses here.
Make sure to squeeze these muscles here. And next, we're going to do the same extra rotation, but we're going to raise the leg to the back. So this is what it looks like. And next, we're going to do this internal, uh, internal rotation exercise. So basically, what we do is we raise this knee high here. It, it can be, just raise it where you can basically. I'll raise it to about 90 degrees. And from here, I do this internal rotation. And this rotation should happen from the hip. So, you don't do it with your back muscles. The core doesn't move during the exercise. So just rotate the hip. You can do isometrics. For example, I know that this is the hard part for me, the most tightest, so I keep it here to just work this, this area so the tension stays there all the time. But at the start, it's good to do these repetitions. And next, we're going to combine this, uh, this leg raise and the internal rotation. So what we're going to do is we're going to simultaneously raise this leg and rotate it. So the leg starts from here, from down, you raise it and do the rotation. And you can try it straight to the side, point a bit to the forward. The next drill is lying down. This can be somewhat advanced, but there are ways to make it a bit easier. So we lay here on our stomach, and what we do is we raise this leg here, just a bit off the crown, and you should feel a very strong contraction uh, in your glutes. And if this is too hard, you bend the leg here. So this is an isometric exercise, you just hold it there. What you can start to do when this gets a bit easier, you can raise the leg and do this little movement here. And the last drill is where we sort of uh, trying to imitate uh, the kicking position. So we're going to stretch the support leg here. So now we're working basically flexibility of your inner thighs and hamstrings. And at the same time, we do this active kick.
So now we've done the preparation for the roundhouse kick. Now these drills should really make it much easier for, for you to do these kicks and to also gain flexibility in your hips to be able to do these kicks. For example, when I used to practice Taekwondo, I had a pretty good kicking uh, ability, but over the years after I stopped it, I lost my kicking ability to a great extent. And these drills were such a big part, sort of rehabbing uh, my capabilities to do a solid roundhouse kick.